Hey everyone, James Nigemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. In the garage here, and that means it's time for another Tackle Prep Tip video, TPT. These are quick videos where I share something on a specific topic that I feel like could help anglers hook and catch more fish. So let's get right into it. Today's tip is something I feel like not a lot of pros talk about, but I know that they do because I see them do it as I've competed against them for years and years now, both on the Bass Elites and now on the FLW. I just don't see anglers talk about it in videos or even articles and magazines, but I feel like it makes a difference and I know it's made a difference for me, so I wanted to share this with you guys. And what I'm gonna share with you guys is a color tip or an accent tip that, I, that you can do to your baits that I feel like can make a difference between you catching a fish and not catching a fish or hooking a fish more solidly and not. And that is the use of red hooks. Obviously like red treble hooks, but also red worm hooks, when I first got into using red hooks was 15 plus years ago, and it kind of came onto the scene. And this was something where as fishermen, we want to try something out. And what I did was I got some of them and I started putting them on only one hook on the bait. And what I wanted to do was some way conduct some sort of an experiment to see if fish actually preferred the red hook over the regular one. And what I noticed was I had originally started putting them on lipless crankbaits. And what I noticed was I felt like more fish would strike this hook than the back one. A lot of times on a lipless crankbait, you'll just get one to swipe and you'll have him hooked like this on the back hook. But I noticed that I actually saw that it seemed like more fish were grabbing that front hook or I would have them just you know, on this back hook and not on the front hook. This hook, back hook would just be hanging. And so I, I felt like there was something about these red hooks that was really gonna make a difference or could make a difference because a lot of times you're out there fishing, you may not get a lot of strikes. So one fish could make the difference between um, cashing a check in a tournament, but just the difference between having a great day and having an okay day. So I was sold on it. So let me talk about what I think the red hooks do. I think the red hooks can actually look like gill flash. All the bait fish, all the bluegill, everything that swims in the water, except for maybe a crawdad, has gills, obviously. And when they open and close, when they're breathing, there's that red from the gills. And I feel like that can imitate that, something that looks more natural as it's moving through the water. It can actually look like the real prey item that the bass generally eat but also I feel like this looks like blood in the water or like an injured, whatever it is, bluegill, shad, crawdad, whatever it is, that's looking like something that's not like the other baits, not like the natural ones. And bass are opportunistic. They want to try to catch that easy prey item. And I feel like the red hook really does that. I try to do this whenever I'm in a tournament. If I'm changing out treble hooks the night before, then I'll just put on a fresh one and actually like on a square bill, I'll put one right there. And um, on my jerk baits, I'll put one right up here. You know, even some of my other baits actually come with them. Like this is a striking swim jig and it comes with a red hook here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I noticed that there's actually trailer hooks that go on spinner baits and buzz baits that are red hooks as well. So this is something that actually does work. Just pros don't really talk about it. And you think about it, it's been around for a long time and most of your major hook manufacturers offer them. So something's going on, people are buying them. I know that I utilize them. They aren't something that just works for hard baits. You can use them also for your soft plastics. Definitely like on a soft jerk bait. I use, normally I use a, an owner cutting point. This is an offset worm white gap and a four aught or a five aught. And I use that black nickel, but if you're throwing like a soft jerk bait, a bait fish colored, something like that, that red, if you're twitching it real fast, that, that can actually draw a reaction strike, I feel like. And then obviously on swim baits, again, for the same reasons that it works on the hard baits, can also work there. I can remember fishing a tournament up on the Great Lakes where some of the guys that did better were actually using red hooks for their drop shot baits. Something like that, the nose hook on these little baits like this, again, gives the fish something to target. Instead of like for smallmouth, they'll sometimes grab the back end, but if you give them something to target, like the front end, like, and it kind of looks like gill flash, but also like it might be bleeding, 
and it's just a place that might be even wounded and so they're coming up and getting that and it's something that a lot of guys did i've used it from time to time day in day out i definitely like to use my red hooks for lipless crankbaits for top waters for square bills that's something that if i'm in a tournament i'm going to try to change out that one i just definitely feel like that can make a difference in the number of fish that I'm gonna hook in the land and the way that a bass actually attacks the bait and gets it securely, more securely, in the fish's mouth. Now guys, I'm not gonna tell you to go out and just buy a bunch of hooks to change all your baits and your boat and everything like that, but just buying a couple boxes of them and keeping them in your, your boat and so that when you get ready to go fishing, you maybe change one out. It's a quick and simple thing. Get a pair of split ring pliers, you could swap them out. This isn't a silver bullet or anything, but I think it's kind of like scent, where it's something where you can stack the odds in your favor, give yourself an opportunity to catch a few more fish, hook a few more fish more securely, and then actually have a better chance to land them. Well, that's my tackle prep tip. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below if you'd like, and then obviously go ahead and share this video share it on your social media pages, and that's the best way to really kind of get the word out that I'm doing these videos. Gonna continue to try to post on Wednesday nights and then also on Saturday nights. Hope everyone's doing well, and until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.